Ortmix, your all-in-one Discord bot for music, protection, system management, and powerful AI, completely free. Enjoy your favorite music from YouTube, Spotify, and more with high-quality playback, custom playlists, autoplay, filters, and a 24-7 uptime. All right, guys, so today we are going to check out a bot, how to set it up, what cool features it has, and everything else. So let's go. Um, first of all, here is the bot's support server. And you will find the server link in the description below. Make sure to join it for announcements, bot updates, and status info. Let's check out the rest ourselves. So let me go here and quickly create a new server. And here we are. Our brand new fresh server is ready, but the bot isn't here yet. So if I search for art mix XYZ, you will see this domain will open up like this. You have to type the same other and then this beautiful website will open for you. First of all, from here, you can change the language if you want. Um, then we have an interesting thing here. Download app. Yes, they have their own app to manage the bot. We'll check that out in a bit. It's interesting. Next, we have commands. If we click on it, we get all the commands available in the bot. From here, you can also filter them like if you want to see only general moderation or just music commands, you can search for it. And if you click on any command, it will expand and show you how to use it. Very nice. If we go back, we have support. So from there, you can join their support server. Then we have login. So let's quickly click on login and I will log in with my Discord account. Very, very nice. So now I'm logged in as you can see here. So here we have our dashboard. First of all, we have the overview. And here we can see our level, our coins, our XP, and some other stuff. And here we have an option to send coins. I'm assuming maybe we can send coins to someone in our server from here. I'm not sure, but well. And below that we have logs. After that we have the premium section. And if we click on it, you can see we have two premium tiers. Premium tier one and premium tier two. And you can also switch between monthly and yearly. And yeah, it's optional. By the way, in this bot, everything is free, so you can support the developer or get really cool extra features, more advanced protection, and a lot more if you subscribe to a premium tier. And by the way, when subscribing, if you want a small discount, don't forget to use my code. Let me show you how. So first, you will click on subscribe, and from here, choose your payment method, and then click on proceed to payment. And once you reach this page, you will see the discount field. Here, you have to type ethical 20 like this, and then hit apply and you will get a 20% discount on any tier. All right, let's go back. After that, we have the profile section. And in this, we have flags and backgrounds. And if we go to the flag section here, you can see all the country flags. So it's like you can customize your profile, which I really liked. So I guess you can buy them using the bot's coins. And it will look something like this. And if we want to change the background, we can click here. And here we have a whole marketplace. And you can buy any background and set it on your profile. Very cool, isn't it? Then we have the leaderboard section, where global users are shown the top 100, which looks very cool too. All right, now let's check out the music dashboard. So here under Generate, we have the music icon showing. If we click on it, we have the whole music dashboard. Here you can search for music. You can basically do everything you can on Spotify. So let's test it. So if I search here for no copyright song, you can see we have a bunch of song suggestions. But here it shows that we need to join a voice channel, and the bot also needs to be there. So let me quickly go here, and from here, let me invite the bot to our server. So we click on Add to Server, and from here, we select the server and add it. Very nice. The bot is now here. So if we join the voice channel now, and go back to the bot dashboard, and click on Play, you can see the bot joined the voice channel and started playing the song. From here, you can like the song, you can shuffle it, you can repeat, pause, from here, you can manage the sound, you can mute and unmute. And here you can see the songs that are playing and the songs that are in queue. All right, so now let's move ahead and actually look at servers and how to set up systems in a server, et cetera, et cetera. So here we have a list showing all our servers and these are the servers where I'm joined and where I have admin permission or I'm the owner of that server. So if I click on this server right here, you can see it's saying that OrtMixBot is not in this server. So we need to add it. But let's find the server we created for Ortmix, which is right here, and we'll click on it. So because we've already added the bot to this server, we can see our server dashboard. And here, first of all, is the general section where we can customize the bot settings a bit. 
So first is the bot prefix. If you use prefix commands, actually the bot also has slash commands, but again, it's up to you. So if you want, you can change the prefix here. To change it, just remove this and write the prefix you want to set, and then click Save Changes or Reset Changes. I'm happy with the default prefix, so I'll click Reset Changes. Then you can also change the bot's language, so either English or Arabic. After that, you can also customize the bot's embed color, which is very nice. Next, we have Server Settings, and here you can set up things related to the voice channel. So first go here and enable it, and then you can toggle between including bots or excluding bots. Then from the drop-down, you choose the voice channel. And here you can add text, like the voice status in brackets will show the number of users in the voice channel. And before that, you can add anything, for example, total users. And then if you want to set auto nickname, you can do that too. And if you want to set auto role, you can easily set that here too. Just enable the feature and select the role. Right now, there's no role in the server, so it's not showing anything here. So let me show you this voice channel feature real quick. So if I go in Discord, and you'll see here's our general voice channel that we set up. And as soon as I join, you can see it's showing total users is one. Okay, let's get back to our dashboard. And now we have the moderation section. From here, you can set up auto mod. So let's click on it. And first we need to turn it on. And here you have many things to set for auto mod. But let's say we want to moderate bad words. So we'll enable the bad words option. And then we will expand it like this. And here, if you want to add custom words, you want it to detect. For example, I want to add hello as a bad word, just as an example. So I'll type hello here and then add it. And then you can select channels where you don't want this auto mod to work. After that, you can select roles where this auto mod won't work either. Then action, for example, if someone sends a bad word, what do you want to happen? So I want that when someone sends hello, the message should be deleted and a log should also be sent to the general channel. If you want, you can also time out the member, but I'm not doing that right now. All right, then save changes. Now, if I go to my alt and if I send hello, you can see it deleted the message and also sent the log. I'm sending the log here, but of course you should make a private logs channel and send it there. Okay, now let's go back to our dashboard and check out protection. All right, so we are here on our dashboard again. And now if we click on protection, you will see something like this. First of all, you have to enable it from here. And then we have to add the role. By the way, this feature is to manage your server admins or moderators. So first, I'll quickly go to Discord and create a role named admin. And now if I come back to the dashboard and click on the plus icon and select the admin role that I just created, you will see that as soon as we select it, a lot of features appear. So this whole section is what we are setting up just for this role. You can, of course, do this for multiple roles if you want. So I want that our admin can only do a maximum of five bands on our server. So from here, I'll set the limit to five and then the time limit, how much time, which we have to set in seconds. So let's say I set it to 60 seconds. So now after that, we have actions and this action will trigger when our admin does more than five bands within 60 seconds. So if the admin breaks this limit, we want either their roles to be removed or they get banned or they get kicked. So you can choose this. I want them to be banned, so I'll select that here. And in the exact same way, you can set kick limits, role update limits, and channel update limits too. So this way, you can safely give your admins and mods permissions in your server. There will be more customizations and features in the future, I believe, but yeah. All right, and then simply save changes and our setup is done. After that, there are some more options like trusted bots and users. If you want to set these so that the protection system doesn't apply to them, Simply copy the user or bot ID and paste it here and then press enter so they'll be added to trusted users. Then who can modify protection settings? Right now this is set to ownership, which means that this whole protection section can't be accessed by the server admin, only the server owner can set it up. But again, if you want, you can choose here, you have three options. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the protection settings. Then we have the module settings section and here there are tons of features. So let's see everything one by one. But before that, if we go here and like I mentioned earlier, that we'll check out their app. So let's download the app and see. So to download it, just click here and the app will start downloading. Once the download is complete, you just have to double click on the .exe file. And then just like you install any game or app, simply install it. And once the installation is complete, when you open the app, you will see something like this. 
To be honest, this is my first time seeing an app to manage a Discord bot. But yeah, after that, we have to log in with our Discord account. So let me log in real quick. And here we are. So just like the web dashboard, we can see everything here. And let's check out the next features using the app. But again, it's not compulsory. You can do all this from the web dashboard too. So now let's look at this chat AI feature. So here, first of all, if you want to use it, you have to enable it. And then here we have many advanced AI models we can choose from. But let me keep it on GPT-4. You can choose another one if you want. And then we have to choose the channel where we want the AI to work. So I already created a channel named AI. So I'll select that. And then you can add a custom prompt here to customize the AI's responses a bit. Then here you can set AI rules, for example, like don't mention politics or always be helpful and friendly, something like that. So now let's save changes. And now if we go to our AI channel and send a message, hi, you can see the AI responds. It's very nice. And you can tell it to do multiple things. For example, let me ask it to code a kick command for me in discord.js. And you can see it has coded the whole kick command for me in seconds, which is very helpful. You can use it for anything. It's a free AI in your Discord server. All right, now let me create a welcome channel because we are going to set up the welcome system for our server now. All right, so now we're back in the app and here we'll click on the welcomer module and you'll see all of this here. First of all, we'll turn it on from here. And then you have two options, first server join messages and second DM join messages. So if you enable and set up server join messages, then when someone joins the server, it will send a welcome message in the server. And if DM join messages is also enabled, then whoever joins the server will get a direct message in their DMs. We'll check out both, but first I'll enable server join messages and then expand it by clicking here. Now here there are a bunch of things we can customize. First is welcome channel. So here I'll select the welcome channel that I created. After that, we have send style. So if I show you on Discord here, you can see the bot name and avatar is showing and it has sent this message. So you can customize whether you want the welcome message to use the bot's name and avatar like this, or if you want to use the server's name and avatar or a custom name and avatar. For that, you'll have to create a webhook and paste the webhook URL here. I'll just keep the default bot name and avatar. Then we have the message. This is optional. If you want only an image to be sent, you can leave this disabled. But if you want, you can enable it from here. And if you click on show variables, you'll see all the available variables. And again, if you have premium, you get more variables too. So let's customize this message a bit. All right, so here, as you can see, I've used a lot of variables, so you understand how to use them. After that, we have the welcome image. So first we'll enable it from here and then customize it. First is whether the message should be sent before or after the image. So I want it before, so I'll set it to before. After that background, so I'll quickly choose a background from here and it will load in a few seconds. Here we go. By the way, I just picked one randomly for now, but if you want to make the best and cleanest welcome, you should use the recommended size, which is shown below, and give an image of that exact size. Then in avatar, we can customize the avatar. This is the avatar of the user who joins. So from here, you have different shapes you can choose. Then the avatar is width, the height, and then the left and top position. Then username, the username of the member who joins. You can also customize its position, its font size, its alignment, and its color. And you can also drag and drop any of these elements like this to adjust. So let me do that real quick. Here we go. And then the last text, you can customize this again and then save changes. After that, we'll close this. And now the exact same customizations are there. If you want that whoever joins also gets a DM message, just like the welcome message, you can customize and enable it. Otherwise, you can keep it disabled. All right. And now if I go to my server and join with my alt, you can see that it has sent a nice welcome message in the welcome channel exactly as we customized it. Very nice, isn't it? All right. Now let's go back. And now we have commands. So here you can see all the Ortmix commands, general commands and mod commands. From here, you can copy the prefix command by clicking on it, and you can copy the slash command by clicking on this icon. You can enable or disable the command for your server from here. And if you click on these three dots, you can add command aliases. You can add the roles that you want to allow to use this command. 
you can add the channels where you want this command to work only. Then we have auto reply. So for example, if you want that if someone says hi in general, the bot should reply with hello. So first we will enable it from here. Then we will select the channel and then click on add new reply. In here, I want that when someone says hi, the bot should reply with hello. You can also attach an image with the response and then save changes. And now if I go in Discord and say, hi, you can see the bot replies with hello. All right, next we have server logs. There are tons of them and there will be more in the future, I hope. So now, for example, if I want that whenever someone deletes a message, a log should be sent in the welcome channel. So I'll come here, enable it, then select the channel, then select the embed color and save changes. And don't forget to enable it from here too. All right, now if I go to Discord and delete a message, you'll see it sent the log, simple as that. All right, then we have the music panel. So from here, you can choose who can use the music commands, who can use the play command, who can manage the queue, who can control the volume, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Then we have the color system. So if I go in Discord and then go in server settings and roles, you can see right now only these roles are there. But if I go back to the dashboard, here you can set the title here. You can set a background image if you want. Then from here, if there are already colors, you can delete them and then select the color shape. But first, let me select the color set. So I'll choose this color set and then click on Create 110 Colors. And now, if I go in Discord and show you, it has created 110 color rolls. From here, you can modify the shapes, and if I scroll down a bit, you'll see all the color commands listed here. So again, you can enable or disable these commands too, and customize them too. So now, if I go in Discord, and if you see, I don't have any color and no roll either. So if I run the command slash colors, it will show me the whole color rolls list. And if I want to choose this color, I can simply do slash color and the color number. And as you can see, I now have the color I want. Cool, right? And yeah, if you want to delete them, you can simply do slash D colors and all the colors will be deleted. All right, guys, so I hope you like this video. If you have any confusion, then make sure to join the Artemixbot support server and get help from there. And if you need any help related to coding, then join my server too. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.